All right, everyone, uh, welcome to tonight's stream. It is now 11.04 p.m. on December 5th, Thursday. So welcome to the stream. Yeah, so we're playing some game called Romancing Saga 3. This game was originally released a long, long time ago on the Super Famicom or Super Nintendo. It was originally only released in Japanese, actually. So if you want to play this game in terms of um, is English, you have to wait for the fan subs or the fan translation. You have to pretty much dump the translation onto the ROM to be able to play the game. And that's how I, I guess, first, or actually no, I first played the game in Japanese and had a hard time finishing the game. So I actually got to the very final boss and never actually beat the game because I didn't have my skills and stuff properly set up. So then I beat the game again when I was younger on the, in English when then the, the fan translation came out. So, in this case, we'll be playing the game again. It's been remastered. And also, there's also a new dungeon as well too. So get a chance to experience the game in a different way. So yeah, um, there are different, I guess, scenarios you play through in this game. So there's like eight protagonists that you can um, choose from, and each has a different starting base story. But despite having a different base story, they do somehow lead up and I guess meet up in the future. So um, you get to choose a scenario, but then um, depending on how you choose or which character you start with affects not only the starting scenario, but also like your future interactions as well too. Uh, based on my previous experience, there's one character that makes the game like super easy for the end, but we won't choose that character. Uh, I guess if, to avoid spoilers, I won't name it, but then I guess you can tell based on the character I choose. So yeah, just watching through, I guess, the opening cutscenes here. I mean, it's pretty well animated. You can see some of the HD graphics going on pretty well. But yeah, hope you guys are ready for a nice classic Japanese RPG style. You can see all the 16-bit pixels here, the fancy graphics here. So yeah, um, you're watching this on YouTube. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the playthrough of this or let's play of this. So you can see how this game is. This game is very dear to my heart, so I'm gonna really enjoy this playthrough here. So uh, let's, without further ado, let's begin. You can see different um, protagonists here, very classic style of play. The battle system is really interesting too, but I'll get into it once we're actually playing. So yeah, let's start us off. New game, start, there's no previous data, and I want the additional content. So there's four male characters you can choose from and four female characters you can choose from. So you have Julian, Thomas, Mikhail, Khaled, Sarah, Ellen, Monica, and Katarina. I'm gonna choose Katarina. Stick with the base name. Uh, select Star of Destiny. Uh, I actually don't remember what this does in front of my first playthrough, or first two playthroughs of the game. Uh, let's choose one that sounds cool. Ares. On uh, the weapon I want to start off with. Let's go with the um, base grace. Actually, what was the base for my character? Oh, she doesn't say. Uh, Great sword's not bad, but I actually like swords. Actually, no, let's try something different. So, my first two plays of the playthroughs of the game, I wouldn't use swords. And then um, there's some good skills that are in sword base that are really overpowered over time. Let's try something different. Let's try the great sword. Yes, I will use this character. Sure. I'm pretty sure I chose Katarina, but for some reason we're following um, Monica around here. Interesting. If you're tuning into the stream or turning into the video on Twitch here, I wonder why not playing uh, SD Gundam G Generation Cross Race. 
Actually, my uh, save file is corrupt, so I actually lost all the gameplay I had for the past uh, three nights. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But oh well, um, I will try to figure something out for that as well too. I might play a bit off stream when I get uh, some more time and then try to get us back to uh, stage four. So don't worry, I will get back to that game eventually. Here's our main character, Katarina. For this particular game, there's a lot of text, so I'm just not going to read every single thing out. I will mostly focus on explaining, I guess, my thoughts and I guess in terms of uh, the gameplay itself. So you can see that even though we chose Katarina as our main character with one of the purple hair, um, you see how the stories are a bit intertwined. That's, that's Monica taking off, and then Mikhail is also another playable character too. So this is an interesting plot, or interesting development here. So we have a decoy here. So now I can control Katarina, I think. Yes. Okay. I kind of want to keep my items. I'll find hide it. Okay. So this game does support um, controller support. So right now I'm using my PS4 controller connected to my PC. Alternatively, you can just use a mouse and keyboard as well too. Let's see anything here. Nope. This is where Monica escaped to. Let's get over here. I can ride by holding a circle. Check out all the rooms upstairs first. Oh, everything's locked. That's convenient. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, nothing there. Oh, okay, I guess we're going down the stairs. Open this door. A guard here. Oh, that wasn't very interesting for an interaction. I never played as Katarina, that's why I don't know what to do in the beginning. I think my playthroughs, my very first playthrough of the game in Japanese was with uh, Julian, the green haired guy. Yeah, these guys are not offering much of conversation. I tried just looking around, like, you know, in classic uh, Japanese RPGs, it's always like a treasure chest or something. That's what I'm trying to find. Maybe get some gear, get some weapons. Can't tell, but I'm actually spamming the confirm or X button here to see if I can click on anything that shows up. Mm -hmm. So far, no, it's nothing. Oh, I guess I'm going down the stairs again. Key? The key, All right? So I hide the key there, okay. The thing is, I don't have my gear. I do have a weapon of some kind, I guess. Where do I go now? I think I should go back to the room, because I stashed the key. Let's go back to our um, room where we have the fake Monica on the bed. So let's go back up here. What to do? Wait for the outcome.
Good thing I hit the weapon so I can get, retrieve it later. So, I should have a key here. Is there anything in these dungeons? I know there's a plate there. I, I could have grabbed a port, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go up. Wait, do I have any gear? I have no weapons, no, I can't fight anyone. Tornado. Oh, no, uh, a team. Sweet. Um, I should get my gear, I guess. I'm kind of unarmed right now. I'm a weapon. I guess they have weapons. Well, at least I got my armor back, so that's good. I can probably enter the rooms now that were locked previously. I just can't remember what treasure chest looked like anymore. <laughs> I haven't actually seen one yet. I'm not interested in fighting someone I don't need to fight. I might keep this a very low level game. I'll explain combat once we get to that step though. So let's get back down here. Uh, I couldn't open this room before, right? Interesting. Let's go to the main room. I think that's where they were waiting outside anyways. There we go. So this combat here is very interesting. So it's a turn-based system here. So we have um, different skills or different abilities based on what's equipped. So right now Katarina has nothing, so she can only punch. Uh, Khaled has a spear, what appears to be a sword, and also some items. So let's attack with the sword, I guess. He has a, a S-stock, which is a EP. Sure. Oh, I took a lot of damage. So this game, um, you don't actually level up. Um, what happens is that the more you use abilities, you become more skilled in that, I guess, weapon. So like you like, develop more sword techniques. So like, you saw that in the beginning, I chose Katarina as a great sword. So she has like a level seven. And eventually as you use it more, you level up that. And then you're able to uh, unlock more skills over time. Gonna heal. Kel is actually really strong. I guess I'll heal again. Very slow, methodic way of finishing this battle. I should probably actually attack to increase her skill in terms of punching. I keep using um, Mikhail to heal.
I never used Mikhail in the, when, I, when I played this game before. I used Caleb before. He was also known as um, Herod, for the fan translation. And he was like super good. Like, heal. The music for this game is pretty good too. Classic 16-bit um, music from the Super Famicom or Super Nintendo days. So one thing to keep in mind is that you notice how there's two um, life totals or two numbers that appear next to each character. One is HP, which is obviously your life points, but the second number is a little confusing. So the second number is um, something called LP or life points. So that one actually is, um, if that one goes to zero, the character dies forever. Like it's gone from the game, like permadeath. So what happens is that um, someone will, once your HP goes to zero, then you start losing life points. So someone heals or revives you. Actually, there's no reviving, you just heal the person and get them back up. Yeah, that was kind of low. Yeah. Oh, I lost life point. That's not good. Oh, I finally got it. Do you see how he levels up that way? So you see that even though um, we didn't see the other characters, I guess they have different scenarios or plots in the beginning. So in that case, they're able to um, have their own plot lines and they just interconnect right now. So you see all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. These are all the possible playable characters in the game. I think it was hitting on here. <laughs> ah, so I lost the weapon of the heirloom to an imposter. Cut her hair. It's like the Mulan storyline from Disney where she cuts her hair off, proving the resolve. So, so have our journey. Okay, so... So this game is kind of like open world. If you ever played um, Octopath Traveler, which is the more recent game on the Nintendo Switch and also for the PC. Like that. So in this way, um, we can recruit characters. Unlike Octopath Traveler, there's actually more than eight playable characters in this game. Actually quite a bit. But the thing is, to recruit the characters, we actually have to find them. And it's not always easy. There's always like different ways of finding characters. So we gotta run into them essentially. So there's one character here, I can see him. He's wearing the green hat. He's obviously not inconspicuous. Sing me uh, something new. Nightfall. Oh, actually, no, I missed it. Huh. 
Yep, so we got someone here on our team. So we got one teammate. I think his name is Minstrel. Okay. I think it was called something different before. And then the translation. So in this way I can get rid of allies I don't want on my team. Like to go into the bar. But the problem with that is that the problem with this game is that you can't just kick people from your party. You have to actually dismiss them at the bar. This girl is recruitable. Two characters were created. Even though there are all-star characters we want in our final party, it's nice to have more teammates at least for the beginning. By our weapons, I guess. Actually, what weapon am I using? I don't have a weapon. I had to get a weapon for. Oh, there's a great sword. Oh no, I had a weapon. Oh my god, I didn't turn the page. Oh, I was so dumb. That first battle was the worst. <laughs> I'm a noob. <laughs> it's okay. Live and learn, right? Uh, I think that's all the characters I can recruit. Sure, let's go. Sway. Killer animals being the ones that are dangerous. What's sleeping here? Oh, I can't wake her up. I'm trying to make a full party, so I'm gonna try to recruit characters first before I really fight out there. Oh no, I just talked to her. Centric Avenger. Sounds the person I want to recruit. How you learn magic? We have no magic points. Okay, so that's how we get money. <coughs> Sorry. The character told us to go away. It's actually a recruitable character, but we can't recruit him yet. We have the ability to save anywhere, so that's good. Just in case something crashes. Um, let's see if I can go up here. Tournament. Uh, I don't have a big enough team yet. I'm not really confident in my team's ability, so let's not, let's not do that quite yet. At least two more characters. Let's go to Pedona this time. Change location, locales a bit.
Enjoy the nice leisurely music here. Oh, I saw I restore items. Okay, that's good, that's good. It's not particularly useful right now, but it will be useful. Okay. Uh, what's the end? Come on, where's some recruitable characters? Master Thomas. Oh, Thomas is one of my favorite characters to recruit. Take. Dang, I can't recruit him. Ah, oh, okay. Sure. Sorry. I think her name is Sarah. Yeah, okay. We have a six man party. I, my original team when I first played this game was an all guy team. It was pretty sick actually. And they all use swords actually, so they all have the same technique, same equipment. I mean, this game functions better when you have a nice uh, mixture of diversity in your team. This is Nora, if I remember her name correctly. Yeah, it's Nora. Nice. Help Nora. So you see how oh my dad is something too late to see. Red, red coral earring and the word jackal. So we're good at Nora. So this game is very similar to um actually I'll probably say Valkyrie Profile. If you guys ever played that game on PlayStation 1. So in that case, that game there's a lot of different characters you can recruit, and each one has their own story. And in a way you kind of Merge our one story together. Who's this strange guy? Seems creepy. <laughs> Sounds like a cult. What is a cult? Let's see what we get from this. I think it's a place of conflict later. Or battles, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I heard, I heard the good word. Nothing interesting there. Okay, let's go down here. I'm kinda itching for some combat. Sounds weird. Oh, I wonder if recruit Thomas though.
It seems like I'm fumbling my way through right now because like I'm only used to two characters playthroughs, so I actually don't know what I should be doing with Katarina. That's where I'm going. Oh, thanks. That was real helpful. I can go down the tower here, I think. Right. Let's go to Harbor. Is there a way for me to leave town, actually? I can't remember the stuff. Is there an exit somewhere? Yeah, to the left. left. place of interest or conflict. Ah, sounds like Vancouver. Ah, uh, let's go up here. Getting blocked by all these uh, NPCs. I think I might, I might actually get killed here. Let's make sure it's safe. My team is like super underpowered. Kind of no combat. I remember this place, but I remember entering this at a much higher level than I went at, at currently. Alright. So the thing is, uh, my HP resets every battle, but not my technique points. So I don't want to burn it out too fast, though. Cataries are the most danger, though. See, this is how you learn new abilities. It's by using the attack or skills, and then characters become inspired to learn. The first time they use the ability it doesn't cost any points. Afterwards it does, because you have to actually select the skill. I wanna do it. Nice. Sunday. Good job, Katarina. Six damage. 
Don't kill her. Oh my god. Sarah can't survive. Okay. Sarah's gonna be up pretty bad. There's treasures here. I'm trying to find treasures. What was the point I just wanted to defend with her? Oh, it's okay because um, Nora's actually pretty much carrying this team. They see how my stats increase after each battle, so that's good. Make sure just are open. I like how it has a memory cursor. So I don't want to keep selecting the same attacks over and over again. That's good. Oh my god. Be careful. I mean, I can pretty much one man team this. Oh, the treasure chests are open? Does that mean I don't get anything? Shoot. This formation is just to protect the rest of the team. This Katarina is the one that's tanking everything. Running when they hit the enemy. So I actually need to um, walk, like, engage.
don't really want to fight him. Let's see. Come on, Ryan or someone. Huh. There's no way, um, attack hits everyone. Oh, wait. Not good. Nice. Huh. Two team, two uh, players on my team are like, near useless. So this way, um, she'll develop her skills with the sword. Wait, I'm gonna to level up Sarah's actually bull ability. So I'm gonna actually attack with her. You can actually equip the skills on the characters if when someone else learns it. I'm gonna check it out right after this battle, actually. by that. Oh, what the? She went nowhere at me. That's not good. 369? Oh boy. I think we're way over our heads here. Oh no, I'd back it off. I think we're in the wrong level dungeon. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Please. Oh, we're in trouble. On a bad loop here. Stop letting me run. Should I just keep pushing forward? I push forward. 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 
He's in my way, though. Fine. Careful dodging everything here. No avoid in this battle. Hello, can't flee. I thought you fight. Oh man, don't worry. Um, SP. Oh, I hit a run. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. We're out of this dungeon. We're in way over our heads here. My team cannot handle this. As much as Sarah's so underpowered. Alright, we made it out alive. I need to rest and heal everyone up. Interesting adventure. Let's heal up. Could block me. What an ordeal. I have trouble moving. Heal up. Yes. Yes. Oh, why is Nora not sleeping in the bed? Huh. See how everyone's LP back went back to uh, uh, full? Very important. now. I think this is more on our level. Yeah, this is more our equivalent to our level, so we won't get overpowered so badly. You guys enjoying the gameplay? Yes, Splint Strike. The spear skill so high.
the professor. Unprecedented and one of a kind, unparalleled in body and mind, breaking molds and shifting paradigms, a diva that will never be outshined. Oh, it rhymes. And brighter than the brightest, a beautiful enchantress, the ultimate inventor, the best, 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 best of all. Time? Time. Sure. That works. <laughs> Supernova. Genius. Oh, okay. I'm only in my third twenties. <laughs> Golden ratio. From Sigma to Omega, I have it all. I'm a quantum leap ahead of the competition. This is tiresome, she's really getting on my nerves. Actually, it is tiresome. I'm out of here. Okay. Off limits. No peeking, glancing, glimpsing, or gandering. What? What's the whole point of this? A task. I have these four adorable little pets, but deer arrives in the woods. Ah, oh, sure. Let's kill them. This game has really good music. Okay. Oh, these are the pets. Okay. Let's use our high level abilities then. Oh, that's still so cool. Spider. Shadow Weed. Actually, no, we still use the bow. And double thrust. Should be good. Wow, 90 damage is a lot. No! Ha! Huh. That's my alert. I used something called Flux. So Flux actually manipulates the screen's um, resolution, or the color. Sometimes you use like night mode on your phone. It's easier in the eyes. And that's also a reminder of my sleeping pattern. Ha! Huh. Hard time here. Um, just one of my highest damage dealers too. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, we're in trouble. 
My team is underpowered. I think we're done here. Kind of sleep. I can't fight this character. I'm actually too weak. All four of them. I'm not strong enough. Yeah, okay. It's not good. I'm literally not strong enough to fight these people. Alright, let's heal up again. Oh, I'm gonna take it easy. Uh, I need to really think about what to do. I might get some more better weapons. But yeah, I'm actually gonna call it a night tonight. It's uh, Trouble 1am. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little playthrough here of Romancing Saga 3. I'm definitely gonna play some more of this game in the future. Uh, if I get my Gundam SD Gundam G Generations working again, I would definitely play that next time on my stream. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough, or the Let's Play. I will upload this to YouTube as always. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for following along. But make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified of my next videos. But yeah, I try to organize all the videos, even though I play on different days, into playlists. That way you can follow through each game. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll catch you back next time. You can check out the schedule down below. Alright, take it easy guys. Peace.